Russia. The cliches are true. You just never know. Till it happens. <laughs> update for y'all it's almost 10 p.m. on October the 12th the boys oh man you would think this video is being brought to you by dots that's just a happy accident <laughs> um, but the boys made their appearance this morning at 10:59 and 11:01. Um, I got nothing I mean the the love and respect and admiration I got for that one right there I never thought could get any higher till I saw this morning happen mama you freaking killed it if that means you want to eat apple jacks at 10 p.m. by god you eat you some apple jacks at 10 p.m. how about I love that apple jacks. <laughs> <laughs> I got sent to the cafeteria at the hospital for tea because she needs to tea tea mm -hmm. and um, she been on these apple jacks hard <laughs> and I just so happened to be looking at all the snacks and there was like two things of apple jacks left and I said well I'd be a fool not to get that after what she went through this morning so um went great dr jones and the crew did a heck of a job with her and with our boys and came out flawlessly aside from a little she her and anesthesia don't do so well so we had a little little hiccup coming out of anesthesia but other than that Everything's been fine. The boys are not in the room right now. They're in the nursery. Uh, they just got their first bath. And from what I hear, it's been a pretty rough day for them boys because they're, they're, uh, they're getting circumcised currently. So, <laughs> man, they had no idea how good they had it, did they? They laid up there swimming in a hot tub, <laughs> been in there for 37 weeks. Everything been fine. And we we decided to show up and rock their world today but uh dr jones thank you for taking such good care of us for throughout this whole thing uh if y'all are wondering she's the one on the tiktok video that said yeah you're having twins that ripped the band-aid off uh, i don't even know if she ripped it off i don't even know if she ever put it on but okay. but i'll say this i love her she has been nothing but great to us um and to the care of these boys she's the reason that this one went 37 weeks because mama was ready at 35 or 36. You know? I was. And uh, Dr. Jones kept pushing her to go further and further. And then the last time she saw her, she was like, okay, I don't think we can push you to go any further. So, um, so that was awesome. Um, she's done a great job. The whole staff here at St. Francis have killed it. Um, I got nothing but good things to say for all involved and um, we're just waiting to get our boys back from the nursery they've been gone for like a couple of hours now it's kind of weird I know I miss them already yeah. <laughs> their mama mama bears missing them so is daddy don't don't let dad fool you but also is giving some time to reflect on what the heck happened today um, for all those people that say you don't know until you see it and you've been there I hate to be the cliche guy but they're right like I, I, I still don't know one of these days I may be able to put it into words but it ain't right now so um, when she asked are you ready to see a baby and I was like yeah and then I saw it I was like oh god I don't know if I was or not <laughs> so um, I don't know there was something that got even more incredibly real 
when they come out screaming and they come out screaming too they was not okay with getting removed from their home so um but they're good um mama's good the good lord's answered every one of our prayers about this pregnancy the house is done um not done but as done as it can get on the inside we got some outside stuff we want to do but um the living space is done their nursery is done so i can't wait to shoot that video for you guys and we'll do some more stuff with the boys once they get in here probably tomorrow during the day we're gonna have a kind of a chill night um can't thank the grandparents enough for everything they've done Brittany's mom and dad my mom Brittany's sister um for i'm sure y'all know being errant people i mean like with just so much stuff going on around here um it does take a village for sure uh my buddy clark come by drop some stuff off um my friends ben and rachel and their son william which is something super cool that happened today william i always called him my first son uh me and ben were like i, I used to compare it to two and a half men if you ever watched that show rachel would want to go do something me and every time ben would be like hey what are you doing i'd go over there we we kept this kid alive so i mean we, we've done good he's now student of the year but even more importantly today he accepted jesus as his savior so he got a new birthday today so his birthday the one that matters the eternal birthday is on our boy's day of birth so um knowing that these boys are going to have him to look up to and grow up with it's pretty cool um pretty cool freaking day so i'm sure there may be one somewhere down this road that tops it but it's going i'll tell you this ain't no mallard duck gonna top it okay. ain't no white-tailed deer gonna top it ain't no big screaming bugling bull elk gonna top it so we're gonna have a little chill night tonight uh when the boys tomorrow during the day get back in here and a little more active i'll uh I'll introduce y'all officially to Waylon, little man, who's actually the older brother. <laughs> He's a, he weighed in at a strong six pounds, six ounces. Heck of a bass. Kind of a small human. Um, and then his, his younger, bigger brother, Jackson, um, who weighed in at seven five. That's a big one. That's a dang big one. But, um, no, they're doing great. And look, I'll tell you, I've told everybody this. The only way these boys are twins is because they come out at the same time. We got one that looks like their mama, thank God. And we got one that is, I'm sorry, son. You're all Martin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I mean, I, it is what it is, buddy. But um, no, it's, it's incredible. God is good. He's faithful. And I can't wait to show you guys them tomorrow and then we'll start this journey um with them so we're gonna sign off say good night but mommy you got anything you want to say before we say good night no just i'm so happy they're finally here and in our arms there you go guys i'm gonna tell you something right now if your wife is pregnant if she's had a child any of that go in there rub her feet get her apple jacks do whatever the crap you got to do because what i saw today we couldn't do it okay. i'm going to tell you right now ain't a one of you guys out there do that not a one that's just facts mm -hmm. so we'll see y'all in the morning we're gonna get a good night's sleep see y'all then Good morning, folks. We got some sweepy boys this morning. We were firm, confirmed that they did have their first poop. And um, this one, it looks just like me as a babe. I had a very active lower bowel. Just like a he kept going. He takes after his mama. 
I'm kidding. That's all. That's all me. You could. Oh, you gonna show? You gonna show the world your eyes, bud? No, get back out. But little brother, also known as big brother, I'll show the world his eyes. Look at him. Oh, he. You still smitten, mama? Oh my gosh. I'm obsessed. <laughs> it's wild, but we're. We're here. It's early in the morning. They're quiet, so I suppose they're happy. We're happy. And we're gonna spend the rest of the day getting to know our little men. Unreal. All right, ladies and gentlemen keep up with Instagram or any of the other things you'll know about the day we had today my man Jackson still just chilling doing good um, mom over here oh buddy it's the cutest little coo ever ain't it but anyway we had a little situation with our boy Waylon um, he spit up a lot this morning it was green yellow and so in his best interest, the decision was made for him to be admitted into the NICU. Um, for you folks at home that have been through that, that's wild. Um, for those of you that haven't been through it, it's even wilder. Um, because you, you, your boy has been in your room the whole time. He ain't here no more. Um, and while we're very fortunate to have his little brother here with us, it still don't feel right not having big brother with us. So um, I am very thankful, though, that this problem was um, is going to be checked out while we're at the hospital, that we didn't go home and something happened that had to end back up here. So um, lots, of, lots of things to be thankful for even through this whole deal. But that's why... You're not getting an update till right now on today. I had planned on this day going a lot different. Uh, but the good Lord had different plans. So we're getting our little Wayland man checked out. We're getting all the Jackson snuggles we can handle. And visiting hours are about to open back up the NICU. So we get to go see go see little Wayland. We're going to send our man to the nursery. Let them do all their stuff with him. And we're going to go, we're going to go love on uh, little big brother. And uh, so, can't take this in there. They got a lot of strict rules up in there. So, uh, but we'll try to update y'all when we leave there. So far, the results have been positive. Um, and they thought he had a, a blockage. And so far, that has been clear. His lower bowel seems to be a little distended still. So, I'm gonna let him try and clear that overnight. And uh, if that doesn't, then they'll test tomorrow why that's the case so so far great news they're being extra precautious and for that i can appreciate it i never thought i could appreciate that until right now so um, anyway that's where we're at i'm gonna try to get mom some some dinner um so she can make these boys some dinner and we'll we'll update y'all once we see our little wayland man all right folks where's mom Mom, all cozy. Um, that's a Medicare commercial. I was going to show you I was watching my friend Marty Smith um, <laughs> on SEC Nation this morning. It is Saturday, October the 15th, and we are getting ready to bust out of here with one of our boys, little Jack. While his little brother, or big brother, I gotta get, I gotta quit saying that. Yeah. His older brother, because he's much smaller, um, is going to be here at St. Francis in the NICU for a few more days. So it's not what we wanted, but it's what we got. So he's in the best place possible. He is steadily getting better. Um, 
they've increased his feedings so far so good. Uh, hopefully that continues and we can get him home and be our party of four um, sooner rather than later. So he's doing better. Mama's doing better. Mama's finally making good groceries for these boys. And, um, you know, we've had to supplement with formula because it's a little tough on mom with anesthesia and all that stuff, which is totally fine. Um, but we're getting there now. So everything is rounding into shape for us to still not know what the heck we're doing. <laughs> but you know what? By God, we're figuring it out. And we're so happy that, um, that we get to take little Jackson home. He's just cozy, snug as a bug in a row. And thankful we get to take him home and we'll get to bring his little brother home soon. So, big brother, older brother. This is little brother, but older brother. Uh, home soon. So, look, the folks here at St. Francis have been fantastic. They have taken great care of us. Um, Try, I, I'll never for remember all their names, so I'm not going to thank a name because I don't want to offend anybody. But everybody's taking really good care of us, taking great care of our babies. Uh, I will say, Miss Lynn, thank you. She could tell last night we were exhausted mentally, physically. Uh, she come in, took Jackson. She said, he'll see y'all in the morning. Uh, and so we got a, a full night's sleep because the the whole thing's hard enough but the shock of NICU added a little bit more exhaustion there so um thank you miss lynn for doing something we wouldn't do for ourselves so um and now look here we got we got little jack we're gonna head home we'll we'll catch up with y'all once we get to the house i want to i want to document how their older sister jude takes them coming home to rock her world. She's been an only child for a long time. So, um, but wanted to keep you guys updated. For those of you following along on social, all the thoughts, prayers, well wishes, we read them all. Uh, we're so thankful for all of that, uh, all of the support. Um, I will say our baby is not the only one in the NICU. He's in great shape. So if you feel led, pray for all babies and all NICUs everywhere. Cause that place is like the saddest place on earth. Really uh, I ain't even kidding. It, it, it's, it's a rough place to walk into. Um, even when you know yours is doing good and, and climbing and, and doing the things he should do, that place is heartbreaking. Um, because these little, these little things, they're so innocent. They're so pure, uh, you know, so, but, We'll see y'all when we get to the house. Uh, you'll get a little sneak peek at the finished remodel when we do that, but we'll do that video too. But anyway, thank y'all. We're gonna go home. We're gonna celebrate these babies and we're going to try to start the new normal, whatever that looks like. That ain't fair. She done had kids, look at her. But she done <laughs> get birth, had two kids, C-section, all the things, look at her. She's she glowing. <laughs> Your boy. <laughs> Look, big mama ain't big mama no more. I know, it's gone. <sighs> big daddy still big daddy though. <laughs> Unreal. Oh, my favorite part of the week. Turn it up, babe. <laughs> Our friend Laura Rutledge, her daughter Reese is picking the game. This is my favorite thing of the week. If y'all don't... Y'all don't watch that stuff. If you're a football fan and you don't watch Laura Rutledge's daughter make the picks, you need to. Laura, Josh, work with them with Academy. Great family. But anyway, we're signing out. We'll see y'all at the house. Well, we're home. But come home to this. I have no idea who did this. That is so and it's cute. and it's not signed, so I don't know who did it, but 
whoever took the time to do it thank you that is cool as crap oh look even, even got our firstborn blonde daughter in there so that's awesome but we're home we've made it here with young jackson we're we're missing 25 percent of our family but we got 75 percent we're thankful Waylon is in good hands where he's at in the NICU and he's getting better so let's go get Jackson inside all right exciting day here folks we are uh, we are going to pick up Jackson uh, Waylon I'm already getting them confused but he has been discharged so now we get to go and get our whole family home it's the day we've been waiting for. Yay. We can get the whole fam back together. So uh, we're going to go do that. Well, can't do much, much in the NICU. So we'll we'll catch up with young Waylon when we get in the vehicle or get home or something. But now one ain't been that bad. <laughs> I think it's about to get real now. Yeah. So we'll check in with y'all. We're going to go get our little man. And uh, I think mama's finally gonna be able to relax a little just a little bit it's been rough <laughs> being a mom is hard but she's killing it let me tell you that she's killing it I'm doing my best she's done made little Waylon enough milk to get him out of there so thankful for the good lord for for letting that happen but we'll see y'all in a little bit with little man it's finally happening <gasps> go back here we have both babies. You see that little white top in that mirror? That's young Waylon. We're going home. Family of four, finally, at the house. I'm going to get off here. We're going to get out of here. We'll check back in at the house. Show you both boys up close and personal. And then we'll see what the good Lord's got in store for us. It's uh, been interesting so far. Yeah. So, um, But praise God we got everybody here, everybody healthy and uh we get to figure out what normal is but we'll see y'all at the house all right we're home i'm whispering like it's a deer hunt because come we'll do all the cute matching twin things but <laughs> the last seven eight days been survival so we're here thank you all we'll see y'all next time like subscribe comment all that good stuff appreciate all the thoughts prayers following along while young man was in the NICU but uh, we're gonna figure out what the new normal is we're out